I cheated on my loving wife and married my affair partner. Now, karma strikes back when I learned that my best friend married her. My ex-wife divorced me in 2019 and moved about two hours away a few months into the pandemic. She found out that I was cheating with a local shop waitress. I told her that I fell out of love and it is best that we separate. Our divorce was amicable but once it was finalized, I never heard from her again even when I would wish her well on birthdays and holidays. I even sent her a graduation gift when I heard that she finished her PhD program. Other people in our social circle including my parents and sister-in-law who sent her a gift received handwritten. Thank you cards. I didn't get so much as a text. My ex-wife is a kind and thoughtful person and the woman I knew would have at least sent a thank you text if her worst enemy sent her a gift. Even though we broke up I didn't think she hated me. Anyway, my best friend and I have been best friends since college. We live two hours apart and he is a lawyer and teaches classes at a university so he is really busy. I have a really busy career a new pregnant wife and three stepkids. I didn't realize that the texts between us were fewer and that the last time he finally replied to me was in late 2021. He also falls off the face of the earth when he gets with a new girl and then when things cool off, we all hear from him more. We have always been the kind of friends who could go an extended period without communicating and then pick up right where we left off. I kept saying that I would eventually call him when things were less busy. My wife and I went to visit the city he and my ex-wife lived in last summer for a week and I tried calling him a couple of times to meet up but he never answered. I was sad but just figured he was busy with work or obsessed with a new girlfriend. I have other friends there so I got to see them. Then I went to the city again by myself in October for a Halloween party. I figured he'd be at this party and I was psyched that I'd get to see him then. He was there. When I went to say hi and hug him. He looked a little surprised and gave me a weak hug. I told him that I was there during the summer and that I tried calling him so we could hang out. He said, yeah, I was on my honeymoon that week. Sorry, I didn't get back to you. I was shocked to hear that he'd gotten married and a little hurt that my best friend got married without me even knowing he had a serious girlfriend, but still happy for him. Like I said, he was a great guy and girls love him. I spit out a rush of questions, like who is she? Where is she? What's her name? What's she like? Where'd you meet her? How long have you been together? He paused for a moment and then just bluntly said, it's Rose. I can't describe how it felt to hear those two words come out of his mouth. I felt sick to my stomach and I immediately wanted to die. I have never felt like that before. I just said, what the F? He told me that I didn't get to be mad because I broke her heart and they didn't start dating until two years after we got divorced and that I chose to be with some waitress anyway. I drank the rest of the weekend because it was the only way I was able to sleep. I feel betrayed by both of them. My best friend since I was 20 years old married my ex-wife behind my back. I was married to her for six years and they were never even friends and now they are in love with each other. I went back home and I know that I was distant with my wife and the kids because I was just hurting so much. After a couple of weeks, we had a big fight and she called me out on being distant and accused me of cheating. I finally came clean and told her about my ex and my best friend which she scoffed about and said she'd known about them for a long time now because of social media. I flew into a rage and we fought for hours. She betrayed me by not telling me the entire time she knew. She didn't say anything when I mentioned my best friend not returning my calls or messages. I didn't get to sleep before going to work and after work. I just stayed with my parents for a few days. When I finally went back home we got into another fight where she accused me of still being in love with my ex and said that I wouldn't care if I wasn't. I called her stupid and said that she wouldn't understand because she doesn't have any friends. I wouldn't care if my ex-wife got married to anyone else if it wasn't my best friend. I don't see what is so hard to understand about that. We made up eventually but I feel sick to my stomach every day and things aren't the same in our relationship. I love my wife but I've come to realize it's not the same way I loved my ex-wife. My wife doesn't love me the same way my ex wife did either. I started to regret the things that led to our divorce because we were really happy until the moment she left me. I don't even have my best friend to call because he's too busy effing my ex-wife to care about me anymore. Everything feels empty and like a lie now. A lot of friends agree that they both betrayed me but think I need to move on. Even my dad and brother told me to get over it. I have to pretend I'm okay but I'm not. No one gives a poop about mental health when it comes to men. I need advice on what to do and how to get closure. I am thinking of driving to their city to just show up and force them to talk to me so I can move on. Is that too much to ask? Update. My wife had the baby. But while I was away she told me about the possibility of the baby not being mine. I grieved that so much, but I decided it wasn't good to dwell on it too much right now until we knew for sure once she was born. The results came back last week and she isn't mine. We haven't made any decisions right now about our relationship, but are living together for the sake of the kids and her recovery from having the baby. She said that if I didn't want to be with her anymore, she'd go back to her home state with her mom and stepdad. She also mentioned that she knew she wouldn't get alimony or child support because of our state, but I told her I would help her get back home and on her feet if that's what ended up happening. I'm really sad that the baby isn't mine. I wanted her to be mine more than anything in the world, but I find it hard to be angry with my wife, for some reason. I cheated on my first wife with her so it's kind of karma in a way. And what could I expect when our relationship started the way that it did? My ex-wife is an amazing woman and she deserves to be happy. I sent her an email and just kind of poured my heart out about how sorry I am for hurting her. I would rip my heart out to give to her if it helped her heal from the heartbreak I caused her. I said in the email that I didn't expect a reply and that I would never attempt contact with her again after that. She got in contact with my brother a few times to check on me and she called me twice and we talked for a few hours about everything. She's really happy and she's doing well. I'm proud of her and she deserves to be happy. I am really lucky that I had the years that I had with her, but now it is time to accept how I screwed up and try my best to do better going forward. I don't think I will ever contact her again but would be happy to hear from her if she ever reaches out again. It still hurts a little, but I understand now that that door is fully closed. The door with my friend is closed too. We haven't spoken and we probably never will, but that's okay. I found out from other friends that he was always in love with my ex-wife and that he was the person who convinced her to move to where they live now after our divorce. My life is still very much in limbo, maybe even shambles. 